I'm Ryan. And I'm Allie. After falling in love, we decided to ride bikes across America. Collecting love advice along the way. This is Love Cycles. No No flatties, no no whammies, no no crashies. What's going on? What happened to sweet Allie? You can speak for me. It makes me feel nauseous. You can't talk? Mm Mm-mm. Okay, I'll talk for you. So, I woke up this morning, as I usually do, bouncing around. I went to the bathroom, and I bounced back into this huge king-sized bed, and she's like, don't cuddle with me. And I was like, oh, that doesn't sound right. And she says she's extremely nauseous. So, I think she ate some bad shrimp or salmon yesterday. It was supposed to be such a fun little romantic surprise. We went to these nice-ish restaurants. When I'm hungry for the great steak of Texas, I always go to the Texas Roadhouse. I think she got some bad food. Folks like Willie love Texas Roadhouse. We got a little cheer-up news. An Instagram (laughs) friend has put flowers in her hair because she wants to be like Allie. And it's just the sweetest thing. Allie really doesn't look good. She seems to be in a lot of pain. She wants to puke, but she can't puke. She doesn't know if she should force herself to puke. So she's just uh, trying to sleep it off right now. We had planned on going to a friend's cattle ranch today, but uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. There's no way she can get on a bike and ride 50 miles. Oh, this is what I wanted to do this morning and jump on you and start cuddling. But uh, you, were, you were in no place for doing that. It is 6.45 p.m. and you look kind of alive. Yeah, I think I'm mostly alive. <laughs> mostly alive. At least 65%. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. Thanks, babe. Thanks What's for taking care of me. No problem. What's the plan now? Um, the plan is we are going to get back on our bikes tomorrow morning and ride to the ranch. Dun 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 dun! Yay! Nothing stops Allie! <laughs> what what? Get some sleep. Mwah. As long as we have an awesome TV, we might as well use it and watch Star Wars! the best part. We've got a new woman, ladies and gentlemen. How you feeling? Feeling much better. <laughs> nice. To, um, yeah. To, how long have we been here? We've been in this room for 48 hours. I've done a whole lot of sleeping. And let me tell you, as far as rehabbing from food poisoning, this was the place to be. So glad to be in this wonderful, comfy hotel room rather than in a tent somewhere. So thank you, Love and Pine, for making it so much more pleasant. (laughs) All right, we're gonna hit the road and go to a cattle ranch. No flatties, no whammies, no crashies, no (laughs) pukies. Just nice, cool temperatures, a little bit of cloud coverage. Today we're headed east towards the Boot Ranch. My friend Jamie has invited us to stop by and see how her and her family raise grass-fed beef cattle. Um, They're committed to sustainable ranching practices and I'm really excited to see how they do it. We are riding our first interstate highway of the trip, but only for 10 miles. And a lot of people think it's insane to ride on an interstate, but the shoulders are so wide that you're actually pretty far from the traffic, so you're safe. It's kind of obnoxious because there's so much traffic whizzing by you, and there's lots of shrapnel in the shoulder. But overall, you know, it's not that bad of a choice if it's all you have. I'm just walking around on the side of an interstate. Don't mind me.
we've turned off on a dirt road and dirt roads this entire trip have led to very good things right yes they have i grew up riding horses and around livestock so it always makes me feel really at home coming down dirt roads like this all the smells of ranch life and i'm excited to get on a horse again it's been years How's it going? I'm Ryan. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Here. How you doing? Welcome. Yeah. Today is officially our earliest morning ever, and we're getting ready to ride. But today, we're not riding bikes, we're riding horses. Something I haven't done in a long time. <laughs> but Allie loves this. Sure is beautiful out here. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, Ryan. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. <laughs> I'm in a herd full of horses. It really doesn't get any better. We're preparing you for a rodeo, Ryan. <laughs> um, I haven't ridden a horse in like, Two years? But I pet him by the roadsides whenever they'll hang out with me. <laughs> and I'm up. All right, time to pretend to be a cowboy. <laughs> we are getting ready to do a cattle drive, a real deal cattle drive. And yes, I'm wearing a bike helmet. <laughs> yeah, why are we moving these cattle? What's the point of moving cattle? Well, first off, we're, our grass is getting thin here. Secondly, we try to move our cattle in concentrated herds um, on short periods of time in order to properly graze the range and give it enough time to recover. In this case, the fences were down, so the cattle are all over the ranch and there's not a lot of concentration going on, so it should be a long day. <laughs> uh, and you trust us to do this? I, I really have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> I've done one cattle drive before, but it was kind of like a fake cattle drive. It was for a like a web series TV show for Land Rover. I'm riding banjo. And we're gonna wrangle up some cows. Come on, yeah! Come on. This is the real deal here today. <laughs> How do I make it go? I don't pedal this thing. What's his name? Scuds. Scuds? All right, Scuds, follow the leader. Here we go, Allie. A little different day. Yeah. Nicer on the butt, these saddles, aren't they? Yeah. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Man, my ass is swollen. Rawhide. I've always wanted to sing that on a horse. Now I feel like a city slicker. We're looking for cows. This way. Okay, there we go. Going right. It's kind of fun letting the horses do the work a little bit, huh? Yeah. Let's do all that pedaling. Mine really wants to eat everything. Jamie just told us that the uh, cows start coming when you moo, and I'm really good at moo sounds, so here we go. Moo! <laughs> moo! Moo! Those are different languages of moo. Moo! Mooing sounds kind of like pretending to be Yoda. <laughs> yeah, all-terrain horses. Good job, buddy. So, Jamie, you grew up on this land, right? I did. Yeah. My dad told me that he found me under a rock out here. <laughs> this is some beautiful scenery. Whoa, buddy. I'm not... Hey, 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 hey. Thanks. I wasn't ready for that little trot. Is this a good time to say that I'm not that comfortable on a horse? <laughs> the goal for today is to find their herd of cows and move them to a different corral. Jamie said they've been out here for a couple months, grazing the land. Now it's time to move. 
grass-fed beef. This is how it's done. All right, we've located a squadron of heifers. Let's go get them, Allie. It's time to move to a new field. Don't worry, it'll be good for you. And remember, I'm a vegetarian. I'm your friend. Look at those cute little cows. Moo! Yeah, dogs, get them. Do your job, dogs. Here we are. This is a cattle drive. We're driving them. This is one of the only things that I've ever driven in my life. It's really fascinating to see how this all works. You know, the dogs are so good at this. They just start nipping at their heels and biting at their butts and the cows just start moving and you just get behind them and start walking and, you know, just keep pushing. The occasional cow will get off track and then uh, you just go get them. Slam my shoulder into a <laughs> branch. Hey guys, how you doing? Wanna go join your friends? Get them in there. Alright guys, that way. There you go. Jamie right now is leading us to a waterfall, so I'm excited about this because I love waterfalls. You got it, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Thank it's you. A good question, Allie. Good boy, Scuds. We're going the rest of the way by foot. Come on, dogs, lead the way. Oh yeah. This is pretty sweet. Nice and cool up here in this canyon. <laughs> the rest stop. The water is perfect. Not too icy, definitely not too warm. High five, Rebecca. Awesome. High five, Fidel. High five, Woo. yeah. You couldn't have done it without you, Ryan. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was so helpful. You wouldn't believe how helpful I was. 20 minutes behind the pack. I'm coming. Maybe. This is the MVP right here. Yeah. How many cows did we move today? Just enough for a hard day's work. <laughs> Right, not to Seven, ask. 17 less than we were supposed to. <laughs> <laughs>